Mypo Solutions Limited brings to you another web application designed to make the teacher's job easier. Every teacher knows the difficulty that comes with timetabling. Timetabling is ranked as one of the hardest tasks that every school has to undertake. Although done a few times a year, the effort given to making one timetable is enough to make one sick. Having to manually look around your timetable to ensure that there are no clashes, that the lessons are not exceeding the maximum entries per day and per week, that all teachers have enough lessons, that no teacher is overloaded with lessons. Calculating available lessons for a slot and such things is what we may call donkey work. After weeks of making a working master timetable, which in most cases still contains some clashes and excesses, there is also the job of creating a timetable for each class and for each teacher. The bigger the school, the heavier the task. Imagine drawing those lines with a ruler, writing every letter by hand, rubbing, cancelling and overwriting, making fair copies and so on. It is indeed tiresome. Now you can make timetabling a fun thing to do. With the Timetabler web app, you can do all that and more with your computer at timetabler.mypostsolutions.co.ke without any fear of clashes, overloading of teachers and such errors. Automation will simplify your work even further. I know you will find it hard to believe that you can create a timetable for five upper classes within an hour, but it's true. Simply create an account with us at timetabler.mypostsolutions.co.ke and start creating your timetable in a more fun way. In this video, I'll help you through the whole process of creating a timetable. After creating your account, log in with your credentials. If your first login is successful, you'll be taken to the settings page. Use these settings to set how you want your application to behave. The school title and school address are obvious. For lesson appearance per day, set the maximum number of times you want any one lesson to appear in the timetable per day. Under timetable entries per page, set whatever the amount of results you want displayed for each listing in the application. The footer message is optional. The message written here will be displayed below the resulting timetable document printout. You can leave it blank or write some meaningful signature. The teacher number setting is where you will tell the application whether to show the teacher codes or not. The sidebar on the left side of each page can also be minimized. If you have a very big school, you may want to split the timetable so that each day will appear on a different page on the PDF printout. This last setting will do just that. After you are happy with the settings, hit the save button and then quit. The application will then take you step by step through the process of making your first timetable. Type here the timetable title and the time that the first lesson begins, then hit on the save timetable button. Now add the classes. I'll add one stream for classes 4 to 8. You don't need to write the word class before the class name. Just type the name of the class and save. I'm hitting the enter key on my keyboard to save. You can also click on the save button. When I type anything wrong, I can always go to the class list and edit the class in question. When I'm done, I'll click on the next button. Now I'll add the teachers. The first name is prefilled with tr dot, short for teacher. I can just type their name here on the second name space and the name will be teacher someone. However, I can change the first name if I want to save the teacher's full name. The teacher's code will come in here. In order to visually distinguish teachers while adding lessons to timetable, I'll choose a different color for each teacher. I'll not pick a very dark color or the name of the lessons and the teachers will not be clearly visible. I can check the teacher's list by clicking on teacher's list button above the form. Here. I can edit any entry or even delete. When I'm satisfied with the colors and teachers' names, I'll click on the next button. Now I'll add the subjects. Type in here all the subjects and activities that are done at your school. Do not include breaks and non-lesson activities like short break, long break, lunch and games. When done, click on the next button. The application now wants to know the order of activities of the school. From the first lesson to the last, the title field is only for non-lesson activities, lunch for example. The activity type will let me choose whether the activity I'm adding is a lesson or a non-lesson. The duration should always be in minutes. I'll add two 35 minutes lessons, followed by a 20 minutes short break, two other 35 minutes lessons, 30 minutes long break, two other 35 minutes lessons, then 80 minutes lunch break. 
two more 35 minutes lesson and I'm done. In case I type anything wrong, I can click on the preview button and edit or delete. Type everything in the right order of occurrence. When I'm fine with everything, I'll click on the done button. The timetable has now taken shape. We have an empty timetable that does not yet know which teacher takes which lessons for which class. That's what we'll do next. At the dashboard page, I'll always have the progress of every timetable that I have. I can click on the quick access links here to do different things for each timetable. I'll click on assign teachers to subjects link here and I'll be taken to the teachers list page. Here I can view or assign subjects to any teacher. I'll add lessons for the first teacher by clicking on the view stroke assign lessons button. Here I'll assign class and subjects to this teacher and save. For example, this teacher can take maths for class 4, science for class 6. The application will not save duplicates. If you have already assigned a subject and a class to a specific teacher, the application will complain that the subject is given to someone else. You can always see the list of added classes and subjects and edit or delete any entry. Hit done when done. I can also see the summary of the teacher's class lesson assignments by clicking on the summary button. Here I'll find which lessons are assigned to which class and the background color represents the teacher in charge. I can also see a different format summary at the top right column and the number of lessons assigned to each teacher right below it. When I'm okay with my teacher class lesson assignments, I can hit on the next button or the dashboard link on my sidebar. I can always access my timetables using the timetables link. I can also click on the complete your timetable entries at the quick access links. Here is a clean timetable ready to edit. The false setting is only used when a teacher is to be given more than one lesson at a time. Maybe a joint French class or something of the sort. Always remember to turn it off when done with it. The hint setting is on by default. You can turn it off. If on, you will get hints when the application realizes that you have waited for a while before placing a subject to a slot. You can clear the whole timetable at any time or just delete one subject from the whole timetable. The summary box will help you visualize the number of lessons per week for each class at a glance. Clicking on any teacher's name will show you the teacher's box. Here you have the number of lessons for a specific teacher per week and the lessons they have been assigned to. You can also access this teacher's timetable by clicking on the link below the box. To start you off, automating will save you a lot of time. You can add a specific number of a specific subject to all or any class within a range that you want. Adding a lesson to a slot is as simple as clicking on the slot, choosing the subject and it's automatically saved. To remove a subject, click on it then select remove subject. Clicking on the class name on the left will take you to the class timetable. The hints will be more helpful when the timetable is starting to take shape. Anytime you add a clashing subject, the application will complain that there is a teacher class conflict when you exceed the number of lessons per day that you set in your settings, the application will also complain that the lessons are too much for that day. You can also fix a quick lesson that you did not assign to any teacher. PE is a good example. Simply select the subject in question, select a teacher to take the lesson and place the lesson. Clicking on add lessons to timetable will take you to the teachers list where you can assign more lessons to teachers. When your timetable is ready, you can go to your downloads by clicking on your name at the top right corner of the page and then selecting My Downloads. Choose the timetable and then download your timetables. You will find here a timetable for each class, each teacher and the master timetable. You can download a document as PDF or image. The image is in very high resolution and can be printed in large sheets of paper. The image has the whole timetable in one page, no matter how big. The PDF is also in good resolution and may contain several pages, depending on the size of the timetable and the settings. If your timetable takes more than a page, splitting your timetable at the settings is recommended. Want to do another timetable from scratch? No problem. Compared to the effort given to your first timetable, this will be a hundred times easier. You can always import information from any of your previous timetables. 
You don't have to do everything from scratch ever again. With your downloads ready, print them out and send them to the concerned teachers or classes. Now go on and tell your friends how you made your timetable.